and welcome back to Otaku no Video as always. Thank you very much for joining me. For my review of Scott Pilgrim, the comic, not the movie, um, but the manga. I consider it to be a, a manga, at least arguably. Uh, it's by the Canadian, Brian Lee O'Malley. Not, there's more than one Canadian. He's a, anyway. And it, you, you probably already know the premise from the blitz of marketing from the movie. Scott Pilgrim is this young man, and there's a girl, and he has to fight her evil exes, basically. And that premise is really a factor in whether you're going to get a kick out of this whole thing. Because much of the story is normal, modern, everyday, kind of slice-of-life relational stuff. It's folks going out to eat. It's folks eating at home. It's folks uh, practicing in their band. Very normal, everyday stuff. And then one of these evil exes will leap out with a katana and attack Scott, and we'll get a complete Dragon Ball Z fight sequence. And it's just completely over the top, there's massive property damage, and then Scott goes home and sleeps. And it's everything back to normal. It's very odd, but the way it works, and the reason it works, is that this is a relationship story. And we all wish that relationships could be resolved with a big fight scene. Uh, it's something really big, and then we could just power up and da, and we could have that whole you know, thing happen. And of course, it doesn't. But it's that element of bringing into the story that I think is really fun and really works. Um, and those don't get in the way of the relationships, and that's really the, the the key to that whole element, is that the fights don't simply resolve a relationship; they can actually, in a lot of ways, complicate the relationships. Now, of course, I'm reviewing the entire comic of Scott Pilgrim, so the question is, does the entire thing hold together? It does build up to a big battle. I don't think that's a spoiler, and there are no spoilers here. But what's important is that this is really the story of Scott Pilgrim growing up. Um, he starts off as a normal, what has come to become normal, young man, you know, early 20s guy who's a bit of a man-child. He hasn't really come into his own yet, and in dealing with all this stuff, he starts to grow out of that in, some, in certain ways. And so the ending, and again, no spoilers, involves the question of how he's going to do that, and, and him coming to grips with growing up in, in a full maturation, full man way, I guess would be a good way of putting it. Um, so yes, we get the big fight scene we want, and we get the relationship stuff we want, and we get that, that character development that has been set up throughout the course of the story. It is also a very solidly paced story. You have these fights every so often, and the building and complexity of the relationships, and uh, that just happens at a very steady pace throughout the story. Um, also, this is helped by the fact that the dialogue is extremely natural and extremely normal. It sounds like young adults actually talking, or as close as you're going to get to that on the printed page. I mean, it's not going to be exactly right because we use too many you knows and uhs and things. But it really works. Now, the one weakness of Scott Pilgrim is the number of characters. There's a lot of friends and friends of friends who show up and leave and then show up again, to the point where this is actually made fun of at certain points in the comic. But fortunately, that doesn't really drag down the story because, again, it's very much about Scott Pilgrim and his sort of core relationship issues. And it's also helped by the fact that the evil exes are in there for relatively short periods, most of them at least. So you can kind of concentrate on those things and the other characters become somewhat incidental. An advantage is you can go back and reread and realize, oh, it's that guy who's there, which can, can be an, a, a thing if you like that kind of a thing. Now, the art is another thing that might push off a few people. This is definitely distinctive artwork, lots of heavy lines, and the kind of thing that I totally appreciate some folks are just not going to really like. I think it's very effective and works for the story. Um, it can be quite crowded, and it can be somewhat kinetic in ways it can be a little hard to, to follow. But I never felt lost in the artwork. And I felt that it, 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 it was well paced and never got crowded. It, it really um, communicated what it needs to in there. So then, you know, no problems with me, but again, it's, it's very distinctive and different. And I don't mean that in the snarky way that a lot of folks do. So, I mean, yeah, the, the story builds to a big conclusion and we get payoff at the end. And to me, that's what I'm looking for. 
And I can understand if you don't like it, but I, I think this, um, well, it did work for me. So, hey. So those are my thoughts on Scott Pilgrim the comic. If you read it or haven't and just want to talk about anime and manga, please stop by otakunovideo.net where we have a forum and a chat room and all sorts of things devoted to intelligent analysis of anime and manga. And so until next time, may you find more comics that have really fun, ridiculous, and mm, just fun fight scenes and relationships and katanas being pulled out of nowhere. Why not? <laughs>